The first thing I was doing was pre-clearing casters, if there was any casters that needed to be pre-clear. Doesn't look like it. Looks like it's all miners. Okay, let's see if we can do this pull correctly then. Oh, I miss those guys over there. That's fine. Let's pull them separately. All right, so fun thing you can do, you can use a mirror image to stack the mobs. Sometimes it doesn't aggro them all perfectly, like those two aren't being aggroed, but the rest of them are aggroed for whatever reason. I've also learned a couple other techniques. So the anti-boosting stuff is in Cataclysm on some elites, but not all of them for some reason. Um, like the crabs, they won't get them, but sometimes if I pull other Naga with them, it'll like chain the anti-boosting stuff onto them. But what's weird is Dragon's Breath removes the anti-boosting mechanic. So... You can use Dragon's Breath to reset it, and then just do the pull normally. Which obviously is probably going to get fixed eventually, but um, I thought it was pretty funny. I'm not spamming Flame Strike enough. I should be fishing for Ignite Spreads for sure. Yeah, I'll try and show it later. These mobs don't get it, but there are other mobs that do get the slow immunity. And what is that? We're looking at 800k per hour right now almost. And I would like, I didn't, I let those guys reset on accident and I didn't pull those two elites at the front too, so that pull wasn't near as big. It makes them immune to slows. Anti boosting mechanic makes them immune to slows. Stuns, roots. Maybe. Maybe it would be possible, Price Maker. Um, I'm playing it safe, though, because this mage doesn't have good gear, and um, without improved Blizzard, it just makes. Like, be without being able to slow them consistently and then having to stack them all. Um, why are you here? Yeah, man, this Blazing Speed shit helps a lot. Yes, they are immune to the Blast Wave slow. Like, watch, I'll prove it right now. These guys should get slowed by my Blast Wave, correct? But they did not. They don't even have the Blast Wave slow debuff on them. Ooh, Tiris of Gad. Interesting. I'll have to try Heroic Utgard Keep then. Or Heroic Slay Pens, I guess. Do you still need a rep to get inside Heroic Slay Pens and Kata? All right, now that I have Dragon's Breath, though, Dragon's Breath is out. Suddenly, they're all slowable again. Isn't that weird? Isn't that weird? With talents, it's instant cast, yep. And my Blast Wave also casts uh, Flame Strike too, with talents. So I got these talents here. Um, improved Flame Strike, cast speed reduced by 100%, so it's instant. Uh, it also gives your Blast Wave a 100% chance to automatically Flame Strike the same location if two or more targets are affected. So that's really fun. 
That's why you see me spamming flame strikes, and you see me flaming like blast waves so much. And then obviously, uh, the blast wave changed to making it range. Like that's blast wave. It's not around me anymore. It's the XP per hour. Um, looks like I'm getting on average. If I'm not fucking up, anywhere between 500 and 700k on average. Like some of these are saying like 600k, 500k, 580k. 724, 5.33. I'm doing a lot of standing around and talking and dying, so. I bet you if you were pulling efficiently and perfectly, you could push a million per hour. But you could get a million if you're like really just zooming, one pulling. I do some bum ass pulls though. Oh, I should not have pulled those guys this early. It doesn't look like there's any casters over here, though, so I think we might be fine. We just gotta get those guys, those guys, and those guys. Those guys, those guys, those guys. Ice block? This is a bad ice block. I'm not gonna be able to hit everyone with Dragon Breath here. Maybe I did? I got most of them. Combust spread there. Like I said, I was talking about. I need to just be smarter with my combust spreads. Try and get a big dragon's breath. Get them restack. Come with a cone of cold. Nova. Kill that idiot. Get a pyroblast. Flame strike. Spread the pyroblast. Blast wave to slow again. Blink over here to get them all running at me at the same angle. Hit them with a fatty dragon's breath. Easy. This is fun, man. I am liking Kata. I am liking Kata Fire Mage. It is fun. If there's more farms I can do like this to 80, to 85, I'm going to be having a good time playing Kata Mage. Please be the last run. Please be the last run. They should have kept the XP buff, but I don't know why they didn't. But yeah, if I had, if I had like even a 50% joyous journeys, oh, this would be insane. It'd be insane. All right, I want to cut back to the front. So, oh, they are uh, already a mob immune, or they are already a CC immune. The, the anti-boosting stuff is so cringe. I cannot believe this mechanic is in Sod, or Akata. Good thing I can remove it with Dragon's Breath, but Jesus. Like, that pull, that pull had been only done, like, 30 seconds in. Like, imagine if you're just a regular player, 30 seconds into a fight, you go to Frost Nova, a mob off your healer, and it immunes it. Why is that in the game for your average player? That's crazy. Who the fuck cares about dungeon boosting in a game that has the gold token? Like, you added the gold token to this version. Why did, Why are you anti-boosting in this game? You've already, did, like, you've already thrown out the integrity with the gold token. So, why are there anti-boosting mechanics? We might not have stuck far enough away. Okay, we got a combust spread. It wasn't ignite, but we got pyroblast spread at least. I think I was super far ahead. We are zooming. These guys stack, get a big DB. You got a friend request from me on Discord? Sounds like, uh... Someone's impersonating me. I don't friend request people on Discord. That's really weird. Someone in my uh, chat came in my chat yesterday, Crook Collects, and said someone was impersonating me in like a streamer Discord. Um, so if you actually did get messaged by someone, Crook Collect, it wasn't me. It might be that same impersonator someone was talking about yesterday. But I have not, I, I do not request friends on, um, hey, 68, let's go. 
I, it was not me, Crook. It was not me. I mean, worst case, I die, I give up, and I go back to the seals. Is it sure that Joker gave you tickets to visit him in Malta? I don't think so. I do have minor speed on boots. Can I run through this firewall here? I think I should be able to, right? I don't fucking know. Boys, we're in home. We're in home. I love fucking AOE dungeons, dude. It is so fun. It is so fucking fun. Mana definitely an issue. I think there is a frost armor glyph that makes me have mana regen. So it's possible I need to swap to the frost armor glyph for uh, more spamage. But uh, this is easy as fuck. This is like easy as fuck. Let's go. I definitely need the frost armor glyph though. <laughs> Maybe you are the listen trade with. Listen. Listen. Oh, that guy's super unstacked now. Interesting. He's he sat in a full length impact stun. I just got them super unstacked for no reason. Um, so I'm definitely gonna go get the Frost Armor Glyph. I believe Frost Armor Glyph was the one that had mana. Oh, I have it already. Your Frost Armor causes you to regenerate 2% of your maximum mana every 5 seconds. I feel like that's helpful for this for sure. Do you have Mage Armor yet? I don't know. I can train it now. So, maybe I just use Mage Armor instead of Frost Armor. I don't know what Mage Armor does in Kata. I assume it's still Mana Regen, though. I didn't get a good... I didn't get a good, um... Combust off this pull, either. So, like, there's a lot that could have been done to clean this up. Um, I need to go get Mana Pots, probably, right? Mana Pots probably seems like a good investment. It's 3% mana and magic res? Gotcha. Yeah, I can get... I, I just opened my spell book. Mage armor was in it. Alright, some of the ones in the back are really slow now. Um, we're pretty oom, um, though. So yeah, mana is definitely a problem at this level. Obviously, every level it gets easier. If I had brutal gladiator gear, that would make it way easier. But I haven't gotten in a BGQ all day, so...
On Wrath Launch, I played a warrior, and I just played, um, I just did solo Botanica the whole way. I didn't have to do this play solo. So it was my first time doing these pulls. I almost just died. We had to cauterize, but... 130,000 experience in that one pull. I didn't even mix in the dragons. That was slower than it should have been. That was a six minute reset though. So we're looking at 1.2 million per hour. I mean, sheesh, boys. That is some good XP. Um, my heart's not up for six minutes. But I want to go train mage armor and I want to go buy mana pots. So we're going to have to, we're going to come back. Loot for cloth. Does this cloth sell well? I guess I should start making gold. Don't get days coming out of this bozo. I'm really bad with my combust. I forgot. I don't think I living bombed with that combust. I gotta remember to do that more. I think I might have though. I don't remember. Um, these three guys are still here, so we're going to cast that thing. Oh, wow, they're not, like, half of them are just, yeah, I'm pretty sure it's line of sight. If I'm not casting it when they're in line of sight, they're not aggroing to them. True, Brownie, yeah. Some of my blinks, I, I gotta remember where to blink, too, yeah. Some of my some of my blinks are really bad, because I just blink nowhere. I keep pulling without making a new mana gem. That's how, like, the infinite mana has impacted, impacted my mentality. It's like I'm not even thinking about mana gem anymore. It's just kind of useless. Not useless, but obviously I should have mana gems. Hey, Lunatic, thanks for staying, hanging out with the stream today, man. You have a good night, dude. See you later. That should feel like a big combust spread. Spread your bust. I'll read your message after this full brownie. I think that was you that whispered me. I saw the name for a second. Let's get it.
Cole's gotten stupid easy. Man, I am not looking forward to archaeology. I hope it's just really chill to grind on stream. Yeah, as long as I remember to buff the mage armor. Yeah, I'm excited. If heroic of this is good, then that just makes my cata prep like 10 times easier. So, if I can do this place on heroic, like I know I'm not doing the full pull, I can do the spell steal mobs too, but once I have spell steal, I don't think it'll be a problem. But either way, I will go learn Halls of Stone, though, in case it, and just for fun, probably. If you have a beta, you should try it. I don't have the beta. Can you still sign up and, like, hopefully get in? I don't think I ever signed up for the Cata beta, so I don't think I got invited. Uh, but yeah, I should go try on the, I should do a Cata beta stream one day if I can get into it before it ends. That's a good idea, Docky. Because, yeah, I did speed racing in Wadlock. I got Realm First Drain Eye. And I did I did um, PTR prep there. Beta prep, whatever you want to call it. I went and practiced my route on the beta. It's the first time I've ever done that. And I only did it to, like, 73. Really, Zareb? Okay, then I'll sign up after stream. There's like the, the the only thing I'm concerned with is like you know it's Blizzard, right? So it's like day of Cata, we've been leveling there all beta, and then launch day they at least a patch where heroic or halls of stone and sip are giving like way less experience. So like there's obviously that aspect of it too. Hopefully Blizzard doesn't do anything, but you never fucking know. This was a fun pull, though. It's crazy that this was more fun than most of the fun I've had in Sod. It just shows you how much I love dungeon boosting. Because I literally have just been, like, frustrated all of Phase 3. This is like, this has been a very fun day. I had a blast. Being 77. We got, what, was that, 14 levels a day? Fucking insane. 